Oh, thanks. I suddenly realized I didn't have a purse to match my new dress, and I really wanted to wear it today, so thanks a lot. Listen, next time I want to wear my purse, will you uh, lend me your dress and shoes? Yeah, sure. And your body. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you look gorgeous. What's so special about today? Well, I'm being interviewed. Ooh, for what? A job? No. Oh, I get it. You'd rather not tell old Road, is that it? Well, I see, Mary. I understand. Maybe you're right. Friends get too close. Rhoda, to look, privacy. I'll tell you after if it goes okay, okay? Okay, sure, man. Look, I understand. Only you can't borrow my purse. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. I'm being interviewed by a guy who writes a TV column in the newspaper. You're kidding. That's no. fantastic. Yeah. Why you? Rhoda. I'm sorry. Listen, no, it's, it's all right. Me. Actually, I asked him the same question. He said he thought it would make an interesting article. You know, I'm the only woman in the newsroom and all. Yeah. Hey, Rhoda. You think this dress is too sexy? Mary, there's no such thing as too sexy. Yeah. I just don't want to look like I'm flaunting anything, you know? It's great. Maybe I should wear something a little more serious. What do you think? In that, you will look like a serious usher. <laughs> think. This is a man doing the interview, right? Yeah. Let me take a look. Rhoda, I'm just so nervous. I don't know what I'm... What am I going to talk about? You don't have to talk. I don't. It's an interview, remember? How about this? Uh, that's a blouse. <laughs> what I mean. Mary, look, the guy's gonna ask you questions, right? You will answer them. That's not talking, that's answering. Yeah. Well, what about in between? I mean, I want to be witty and stuff. Do you think Henry Kissinger notices that Jill St. John is witty? No. Stop? <laughs> yes. Uh, see, that's what I mean. I never say anything like that. I want to write it down and use it. I don't think the man would be too impressed if you sat there and read witty things to him. Mary, he's just a guy. You know, you have very little trouble in that area. What's his name, anyhow? Mark Williams. Maybe you better wear a suit of armor. What do you mean, you know him? Not in person, but you've read his column, huh? Yeah. I mean, he's a destroyer. So he's a little critical of TV. A little critical? Did you read him this morning? No. Wait. After he got through killing all the new shows, I guess he decided to take a second look at the shows he had murdered last year. <laughs> Though this series continues in its enormous popularity, it is inconceivable to me that it would hold the interest of anyone over the age of nine. What shows that? Sesame Street, Mayor. <laughs> I'm gonna go change. <laughs> dumbest thing this morning. <laughs> you you want to know what I did? Uh, you dressed like a guy? <laughs> you don't like it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I bought a suit like that for my son. <laughs> well, I didn't start out wearing this. I mean, I must have gone through about six dumb outfits worrying about the right image, and this is what I finally came up with for the interview. What interview? Oh, didn't I tell you? Mark Williams is interviewing me today at lunch. Well, why are you, man? <laughs> because I work in the newsroom and because I'm a woman who's dressed like a man. <laughs> Steak! An interview. Uh, that's terrific. You asked Lou, didn't you? Oh, uh, well, no, not, not exactly. I mean, well, not so many words. How many words? None. <laughs> Well, listen, I still could. I mean, if you really think it's necessary. It just never occurred to me to ask his permission. I mean, it is my own lunch hour. Still, I do work here, don't I? So, I guess. I, well, I could. I mean, if you really think I... But do you think Mr. Grant would mind? No mind what? Oh, well, <laughs> an interview I said yes to. Mind an interview? It's outrageous. What right does he have to tell people who they can talk to? I mean, we're still individuals here. Mayor, that interview goes on. Right. What time should I be there? <laughs> Ted, Mary is the one being interviewed. Why would anyone want to interview you? After all, what could I possibly have to say? Is that it? Uh, excuse me. Mary's a little testy today, isn't she? <laughs> Ted, didn't it occur to you that you may have insulted her? No. Oh, you mean, uh, oh, well, I mean, after all, it isn't fair. She's not an anchor man. 
But then again, it's not her fault. That's right, Ted. So why don't you apologize to her? Oh, Mayor. Mayor, I... I... like your suit. Thanks, Ted. Say, Mayor, uh, when is your little interview? Today at lunch. Oh. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Uh, you might go to the same restaurant I'm going to, and I might be able to stop by the table, say hello, that's all. <laughs> Were you having lunch? I don't know yet. Were you having lunch? I don't know yet. <laughs> Where is she having lunch, Mark? She doesn't know yet. And they call this a newsroom. <laughs> Look, Mary, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I really think you should mention that interview to Lou. You really think so, Mary? I mean, even though... And fast it... before Ted thinks of it. Oh, come on. Oh, Murray, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Grant, I was wondering if you'd mind... Mary, don't wear pants in the office anymore. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Listen to me. Did you hear what I just did? I said, I don't want you to wear something. What difference does it make what you wear as long as you do your job? Right. It's a purely arbitrary, pig-headed demand. And yet... <laughs> I didn't ask you my question. Oh, what is it? Uh, well, you know Mark Williams. That jerk. You do know him? Mm -hmm. Why is he a jerk? Because he hates TV, that's why. I like TV. I work in it and I like it. Besides, I don't like the way he operates. What, what do you mean, operates? Well, let's say he uses his column to improve his social position. Oh, Mr. Grab, I can't believe Last year, he went out to Hollywood and interviewed the gold diggers. <laughs> wrong in writing a column about the gold diggers? No, no, not a column. Ten columns. One column on each gold digger. Why are we talking about Mark Williams? Oh, well, he wants to do an interview. Tell him I'm not interested. Well, see, it's not you he wanted to interview. It, it was, uh... Who then? Me. You. Boy, why is it that everybody is so surprised when they find out that Mark Williams wants to interview me? I'm not surprised. Uh, you're not. It figures. In Minneapolis, you're the closest thing to a gold digger. <laughs> Mr. Grant, I can take care of myself. Mary, you're representing WJM-TV. A man like Mark Williams delights in taking perfectly innocent little things you say and twisting them. Cancel him! Yeah, I, th I, I better... I'll, I'll cancel him. Wait a minute. Come in. If you call and cancel now, he'll probably think I told you to. Yes. We wouldn't want him to think I'd do a thing like that, would we? No. You better go to lunch with him. Yes. Oh, I ain't uh, making too big a deal out of it. It'll be fun. You get your name in a paper, your folks will read it, They'll be proud of you? Oh, sure. Have a nice time. Okay, thanks. Just don't say anything. <laughs> right. I don't know what's wrong with the tape recorder. It's never done this before. Maybe it needs new batteries. No. No, I put brand new batteries in it just about four months. Four months ago. Do you have a pencil? Uh, yeah. Are you going to take down everything I say? I like to get the quotes straight. The, the quotes? Mm -hmm. How about a piece of paper? Yeah. You don't have any batteries in there, do you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's start with your boss, Lou Grant. I understand that he doesn't like me very much. Oh, no. No, 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 Mr. Grant doesn't not like you. You call him Mr. Grant? Oh, yes, I do. I mean, I, I could call him 
woo if I wanted to, but he just, you know, seems like more of a Mr. Grant, that's all. You, you writing that down? Mm-hmm. Go on. Oh, uh, well, he's, uh, he's terrific to work for. I mean, I really love him. I mean, we, we just think he's the dearest man to work for. He's, we all think he's a... A saint. Oh, no, of course he's not a saint. <laughs> no, sometimes he's very unsaintly. Lots. <laughs> I mean, we, we just think hold it, that... Hold it. I can't write that fast. Uh, no, of course. He's not a saint. Uh, we... Wrong. No, this isn't going to work. Why didn't I learn how to take shorthand when I had the chance? Well, listen, I take shorthand. Good. You do it. Uh, you mean you, you want me to t- take down my, my own... Just write uh... down what you tell me. Now, where were we? Uh... M- uh, Mr. Grant, Lou. The guys at the office ever treat you like one of the boys? Uh, no. No, uh, just the opposite. I mean, what do you mean? Well, those rooms are pretty raunchy. Yeah? Rough language and heavy drinking. How do you feel about that as a woman? Oh, fine. Mm. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm used to it. Sort of. Uh. Tell me about Ted Baxter. Oh, well, uh, what, what, what did you want to know? Is he really an idiot? <laughs> Ted? An idiot? <laughs> oh, gosh, no. He's, uh, actually, Ted is, is exactly the way he appears on the air, you mm. know, only better. Much better. He just about have to be. <laughs> actually, uh, Ted is, is pretty deceptive. He is. He is deceptive. Are you married? No, I'm not. Are you? Well, no. I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. That that was uh, an interview question. Was mm-hmm. it? I see. I uh, know. I thought you were asking me as a, a person, you know, and not as the uh, not married. <laughs> well, maybe just a little bit of both. Listen, I am just so nervous about this whole thing turning out badly that that I can't be myself. I can't relax. Mary, Mary, there is no way this interview is going to turn out badly. Oh, why not? Because if it turned out badly, when you read it tomorrow morning, you'd be upset. And then you wouldn't go out with me tomorrow night when I ask you, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. Oh, uh, go out? Mm. (laughs) You know (laughs) what just crossed my mind? (laughs) That if I said no to going out with you, (laughs) then the story might turn out badly. (laughs) Where'd you want to go? Very much. Well, I know a terrific little Chinese restaurant right across from St. Paul. Yes, I think I've heard of it. They have uh, the best Peking duck dish. Oh, oh, there you are, Mayor. Ted, what are you doing here? Oh, well, uh, Lou is looking for you, and I volunteered to go out to find you. Uh, <clears throat> Ted Baxter, anchorman. Uh, Mark Williams. Sorry, Ted uh, Baxter, this is Mark. Uh, you'd better scoot along, Mayor. You'll know how Lou can get. I'm awfully sorry. Not at all. I know how it is when you're in news. Don't worry about the dessert. I'll eat it. <laughs> oh, the interview. Uh, Mary, I can't read shorthand. Oh, well, I'll type it up and send it to you. By 3 o'clock, okay? I have a deadline. Okay. I'll call you. Good. I sleep in the raw. <laughs> usually ask that kind of stuff. This isn't an interview. Oh, what do you say we do have an interview? Here, just speak right into there. It all started in a little 5,000 watt radio station in Fresno. Things were really tough in those days. I mean, really tough. What time? 
time is it anyway? 5.45 a.m. I could have figured out the a.m. part. What are you doing up so early? Mary, what are you still doing in bed? How can you sleep on, on such an important day? Actually, I can understand that. I overslept on my sister's wedding day. In fact, I slept through my sister's wedding day. I was depressed. She was marrying my fiance. <laughs> What is so important about today? Remember? The interview. Yeah. Oh, Rhoda, you got up early. You went down to get the paper. Oh, that was really sweet. Will you hurry up, please, and read it? Huh? Or should I? You. Good. Mary. Mm. He loves you. Yeah? He raves. Let me see. Bringing a bright smile and infectious vivacity to her otherwise humdrum newsroom duties at WJM is Mary Richards, the best looking thing to ever hit Minneapolis news. Yay. Oh no. Best looking is an oh no? <laughs> Lou Grant, who Mary still calls Mr. Grant after two years, is a tough boss, but still hasn't broken her indomitable spirit. <laughs> oh no. Another oh no? The hard-drinking Grant. Oh, no. Oh, Rhoda, this is just terrible. I mean, it makes it sound like I want to take over the newsroom and that Mr. Grant is some sort of... Oh, this is terrible. My whole life has probably been ruined by that one rotten article. Good picture of you, though. You think so? Morning, Murray. Oh, morning, Mayor. You're late. I've missed your bright smile and infectious vivacity around this otherwise humdrum newsroom. Murray, I didn't say that. Mary, I was only teasing. No one with any intelligence takes those TV column things seriously. Good morning, Murray. Good morning, Chad. Murray, I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought that you, of all people, would betray me like this. Ted, I didn't betray you. Look, there's not one word about you in the whole article. You're not even mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did uh, talk about you a lot. I mean, he just didn't put it in. Why didn't he? Ted, I don't know. Believe me, the whole article didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Mary Richards, the best-looking thing to ever hit Minneapolis News. Ted, I'm sure he meant woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say, well, just between us guys, uh, if Mary were a man, would she be better looking than I am? <laughs> Ted, if Mary were a duck, she'd be better looking. <laughs> Morning. D did he say good morning or morning? Just morning. Come in. Uh, Mr. Grant, I, I can explain about that. Okay. <laughs> Take a shot at it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly uh, give, it, give it a try. Huh? Uh, Mr. Grant, I didn't say any of those things. Huh? Uh, well, you're, that's not entirely true. Mm -hmm. I did uh, say some of those things, but uh, not not that way. Mm -hmm. uh, just not the way that it came out. Now do you see why I never give interviews, Mary? I do, and you're right, Mr. Grant, absolutely right. Darn right I'm right. But that doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now, does it? Because the people who read this are gonna think I'm a man who drinks as much as I drink. <laughs> Well, you struggle to hold everything together around here. I mean, this isn't the kind of clipping I take upstairs to try to get a raise, is it? I'm sorry, Mr. Grant. I know you're sorry. But unfortunately, the reading public of Minneapolis and St. Paul, which includes my wife, 
my neighbors, my children, and my grandchildren don't know you're sorry. Uh, your, your grandchildren? Those little tots who once looked up to their old grandpa. <laughs> uh, Mr. Grant, Abby and Amy aren't even old enough to read. They hear it in the street. <laughs> But these things happen. Well, I feel just terrible. Good. <laughs> Mr. Grant, what, what if I call Mark Williams and ask him to... Uh, on the other hand, it might be better to just leave well and uh, bad enough alone. D don't you think? Mm. Well, at least you came off well. Oh, well. He didn't get fresh? Uh, no, Mr. Grant, he didn't. You're not going out with him? Yes, Mr. Grant, I am. Did I not tell you that was the best restaurant in all of St. Paul? <laughs> you did, and it was. <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed that Ted showed up. <laughs> Mary, are you really sure that I can't make up for getting you into trouble at the station? Oh, no, Mark. Really, I told you I'd just as soon forget it. Well, I just feel that I should do something. You already have. I had a lovely evening. So did I. Can I spend the night? Uh, no. Okay, see ya. <laughs> I'm better at than you are. <laughs> Listen, let, let, me, let me tell you what just happened here. I, I went out with Mark. Uh, you know, Williams? Yeah. Uh, we went to dinner, and we had a, a really nice time, you know? And, yeah. and then he, he brought me home, okay? He brought me up here. We got right, uh, right about here. Yeah, yeah. And he said, um, can I spend the night? And I said, no. And he said, okay, see ya. Yeah. That's it. He said, okay, see ya, and left. In answer to your question, Mayor, we don't know if you're undersexed. You didn't give yourself a chance to find out. No, no. <laughs> Mayor, if you want to know if I'm undersexed, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Will you be serious? <laughs> I mean, I hardly know him. One date, just one date. Yeah. Rhoda, tell me, what would you have done? With Mark? Yeah. Probably the exact same thing you did, kid. Really? Do I detect a note of surprise? No, 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 no. It's just that it's purely a personal matter. Mary, I too have standards. Believe it or I not. I do, I do, I believe it. It's just that sometimes I think maybe I have overly standards. Mm -mm. It's good what you did. I think he was testing you to find out what kind of a girl you are. Now he knows and he'll respect you for it. And he'll call you as soon as he can. Do you really think so? No, but my mother does. <laughs> The thing is, you'd be surprised how many girls say yes when I ask them that question. It's the law of averages and all that. Come on in. I certainly hope I didn't mess up a batting streak. Right? No, no, I just shouldn't have tried such a dumb thing with you. It was dumb, wasn't it? It sure was. How dumb? Oh, gosh, uh, very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Too dumb to ever consider going out with me again? No. Good. 
Now, you wouldn't like to change your mind no. about No. <laughs> Sometimes that works, too. See ya. about the dessert, I'll eat it. Oh, the interview. Uh, Mary, I can't read shorthand. Oh, well, I'll type it up and send it to you. By three o'clock, okay, I have a deadline. Okay. I'll call you. Good. I sleep in the raw. <laughs> usually ask that kind of stuff. This isn't an interview. Oh, well, what do you say we do have an interview? Here, just speak right into there. It all started in a little 5,000 watt radio station in Fresno. Things were really tough in those days. I mean, really tough. She was marrying my fiance. <laughs> Buddha, what is so important about today? Remember? The interview. Yeah. Oh, Rhoda, you got up early. You went down to get the paper. Oh, that was really sweet. Will you hurry up, please, and read it? Huh? Or should I? You. Good. Mary. Loves you. Yeah. He raves. Let me see. Bringing a bright smile and infectious vivacity to her otherwise humdrum newsroom duties at WJM is Mary Richards, the best-looking thing to ever hit Minneapolis news. Yay. Oh no. Best-looking is an oh no. <laughs> Lou Grant, who Mary still calls Mr. Grant after two years, is a tough boss, but still hasn't broken her indomitable spirit. Oh, no! Another oh no? The hard-drinking Grant. Oh, no! Oh, Rhoda, this is just terrible. I mean, it makes it sound like I want to take over the newsroom and that Mr. Grant is some sort of... Oh, this is terrible. My whole life has probably been ruined by that one rotten article. Some sort of... Oh, this is terrible. My whole life has probably been ruined by that one rotten article. Good picture of you, though. You think so? Morning, Murray. Oh, morning, Mayor. You're late. I've missed your bright smile and infectious vivacity around this otherwise humdrum newsroom. Murray, I didn't say that. Mary, I was only teasing. No one with any intelligence takes those TV column things seriously. Good morning, Murray. Good morning, Chad. Murray, I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought that you, of all people, would betray me like this. Ted, I didn't betray you. Look, there's not one word about you in the whole article. You're not even mentioned. <laughs> Although I did 
not talk about you a lot. I mean, he just didn't put it in. Why didn't he? Ted, I don't know. Believe me, the whole article didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Mary Richards, the best looking thing to ever hit Minneapolis news. Ted, I'm sure he meant woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say, well, just between us guys, uh, if Mary were a man, would she be better looking than I am? <laughs> Ted, if Mary were a duck, she'd be better looking. <laughs> Morning. D did he say good morning or morning? Just morning. Come in. Uh, Mr. Grant, I, I can explain about that. Okay. <laughs> Take a shot at it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly uh, give, it, give it a try. Huh? Uh, Mr. Grant, I didn't say any of those things. Huh? Uh, well, you're, that's not entirely true. Mm -hmm. I did uh, say some of those things, but uh, not not that way. Mm -hmm. uh, just not the way that it came out. Now do you see why I never give interviews, Mary? I do, and you're right, Mr. Grant, absolutely right. Darn right I'm right. But that doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now, does it? Because the people who read this are going... Uh, you, you want to know what I did? Uh, you dressed like a guy? You don't like it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I bought a suit like that for my son. <laughs> well, I didn't start out wearing this. I mean, I must have gone through about six dumb outfits worrying about the right image, and this is what I finally came up with for the interview. What interview? Oh, didn't I tell you? Mark Williams is interviewing me today at lunch. Well, why are you, man? <laughs> because I work in the newsroom and because I'm a woman who's dressed like a man. Steak! An interview. Uh, that's terrific. You asked Lou, didn't you? Oh, uh, well, no, not, not exactly. I mean, well, not so many words. How many words? None. Mm. Well, listen, I still could. I mean, if you really think it's necessary, it just never occurred to me to ask his permission. I mean, it is my own lunch hour. Still, I do work here, don't I? So, I guess, I, well, I could. I mean, if you really think I, but do you think Mr. Grant would mind? No mind what? Oh, well, <laughs> an interview I said yes to. Mind an interview? It's outrageous. What right does he have to tell people who they can talk to? I mean, we're still individuals here. Mayor, that interview goes on. Right. What time should I be there? <laughs> Ted, Mary is the one being interviewed. Why would anyone want to interview you? After all, what could I possibly have to say? Is that it? Uh, excuse me. Mary's a little testy today, isn't she? <laughs> Ted, didn't it occur to you that you may have insulted her? No. Oh, you mean, uh... Oh, well, I mean, after all, it isn't fair. She's not an anchor man. But then again, it's not her fault. <laughs> That's right, Ted. So why don't you apologize to her? Oh, Mayor. Mayor, I... I... like your suit. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Say, Mayor, uh, when is your little interview? Today at lunch. Oh. Why? Oh, I was... Just wondering, uh, you might go to the same restaurant I'm going to, and I might be able to stop by the table, say hello, that's all. <laughs> Were you having lunch? I don't know yet. Were you having lunch? I don't know yet. <laughs> Where is she having lunch, Mark? She doesn't know yet. And they call this a newsroom. <laughs> Look, Mary, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I really think you should mention that interview to Lou. You really think so, Murray? I mean, even though... And fast it... before Ted thinks of it. Oh, come on. Oh, Murray. Uh, 
Mr. Grant, I didn't say any of those things. Huh? Uh, well, you're, that's not entirely true. Mm -hmm. I did uh, say some of those things, but uh, not, not that way. Mm -hmm. uh, just not the way that it came out. Now do you see why I never give interviews, Mary? I do, and you're right, Mr. Grant, absolutely right. Darn right I'm right. But that doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now, does it? Because the people who read this are going to think I'm a man who drinks as much as I drink. <laughs> well, you struggle to hold everything together around here. I mean, this isn't the kind of clipping I take upstairs to try to get a raise, is it? I'm sorry, Mr. Grant. I know you're sorry. But unfortunately, the reading public of Minneapolis and St. Paul, which includes my wife, my neighbors, my children, and my grandchildren don't know you're sorry. Uh, your, your grandchildren? Those little tots who once looked up to their old grandpa. <laughs> uh, Mr. Grant, Abby and Amy aren't even old enough to read. They hear it in the street. <laughs> but these things happen. Well, I feel just terrible. Good. <laughs> Mr. Grant, what, what if I call Mark Williams and ask him to... Uh, on the other hand, it might be better to just leave well and uh, bad enough alone. D don't you think? Mm. Well, at least you came off well. Oh, well... He didn't get fresh? Uh, no, Mr. Grant, he didn't. You're not going out with him? Yes, Mr. Grant, I am. <laughs> Did I not tell you that was the best restaurant in all of St. Paul? <laughs> you did, and it was. <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed that Ted showed up. <laughs> Mary, are you really sure that I can't make up for getting you into trouble at the station? Oh, no, Mark. Really, I told you I'd just as soon forget it. Well, I just feel that I should do something. You already have. I had a lovely evening. So did I. Can I spend the night? Uh, no. Okay, see ya. Did I not tell you that was the best restaurant in all of St. Paul? <laughs> you did, and it was. I'm just so embarrassed that Ted showed up. <laughs> Mary, are you really sure that I can't make up for getting you into trouble at the station? Oh, no, Mark. Really, I told you I'd just as soon forget it. Well, I just feel that I should do something. You already have. I had a lovely evening. So did I. Can I spend the night? Uh, no. Okay, see ya. <laughs> than you are. <laughs> Listen, let, let, me, let me tell you what just happened here. I, I went out with Mark. Uh, you know, Williams? Yeah. Uh, we went to dinner, and we had a, a really nice time. 
time, you know. And, yeah. the, and then he he brought me home. Okay, he brought me up here. We got right uh, right about here. Yeah, yeah. And he said, um, "Can I spend the night?" And I said, "No." And he said, "Okay, see ya." Yeah. That's it. He said, "Okay, see ya," and left. In answer to your question, Mayor, we don't know if you're undersexed. You didn't give yourself a chance to find out. No. <laughs> You want to know if I'm undersexed? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Will you be serious? I mean, I hardly know him. One date, just one date. Yeah. Rhoda, tell me, what would you have done? With Mark? Yeah. Probably the exact same thing you did, kid. Really? Do I detect a note of surprise? <laughs> no, 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 it's just that it's purely a personal matter. Mary, I too have standards. Believe it or I not. I do, I do, I believe it. It's just that sometimes I think maybe I have overly standards. Mm -hmm. It's good what you did. I think he was testing. You're late. I've missed your bright smile and infectious vivacity around this otherwise humdrum newsroom. <laughs> Murray, I didn't say that. Mary, I was only teasing. No one with any intelligence takes those TV column things seriously. <laughs> Good morning, Murray. Good morning, Chad. Murray, I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought that you, of all people, would betray me like this. Chad, I didn't betray you. Look, there's not one word about you in the whole article. You're not even mentioned. <laughs> Uh, talk about you a lot. I mean, he just didn't put it in. Why didn't he? Ted, I don't know. Believe me, the whole article didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Mary Richards, the best looking thing to ever hit Minneapolis News. Ted, I'm sure he meant woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say, Mary, just between those guys, uh, if Mary were a man, would she be better looking than I am? Ted, if Mary were a duck, she'd be better looking than I am. Morning. D did he say good morning or morning? Just morning. Come in. Uh, Mr. Grant, I, I can explain about that. Okay. <laughs> Take a shot at it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly uh, give, it, give it a try. Huh? Uh, Mr. Grant, I didn't say any of those things. Huh? Uh, well, you're, that's not entirely true. Mm -hmm. I did uh, say some of those things, but uh, not, not that way. Mm -hmm. uh, just not the way that it came out. Now do you see why I never give interviews, Mary? I do, and you're right, Mr. Grant, absolutely right. Darn right I'm right. But that doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now, does it? Because the people who read this are going to think I'm a man who drinks as much as I drink. <laughs> Well, you struggle to hold everything together around here. I mean, this isn't the kind of clipping I take upstairs to try to get a raise, is it? I'm sorry, Mr. Grant. I know you're sorry. 